Right, good day everyone and uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today I want to talk about kindness and kindness in the social, the social media era um, and why it's pissing me off. Um, at the start of the video you saw me wave to a homeless guy and you see videos all the time of uh, that people put up that they try and make a point of feeding someone that's homeless or giving them some money or something like that and then they video it and put it on social media or on YouTube for self-gain and um, when did an act of kindness become a point of self-gain why why do people do nice things to attempt to receive likes and hits and views and, and things like that which, which I think is disgusting um, I say this because I walked past him um, on the way to the shop I had a few quid left in my pocket and I wasn't going to go and give him money because I don't know him um, but I could see that he's homeless um, I could see he wasn't in a great state so I walked past birds I had a couple of quid spare um, I picked him up a sausage roll uh, a sausage roll and a sausage cob thing and they put a bit, few, a bit extra stuffing and whatnot on for me over to him and I thought you know I'm just gonna have a chat with him and I'll eat my cob with him as well and just ask him how his day's been and just, just how things have been in general and and he was he's actually telling me that he can't actually get no help because he doesn't drink or he doesn't get he doesn't take drugs or anything like that the, the government won't give him no help um, and he was mentioning one of his friends like someone else that he knows um, that that particular person um, is on drugs all the time and is constantly drunk but they get help they get they get funding to be drunk, they get funding to take drugs, but yet he won't get anything or be put on the housing register because he does none of that, which I think is disgusting. Um, the reason I bring all of this up, I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting this video up for self-use or gains, that's why um, I made sure my camera was off when I was speaking to him and when I gave him some food, because it's not... It's not something that's nice for other people to see, and I'm sure he doesn't want his face being plastered all over the internet. But then, as I was walking off, one guy said to me, why did you do that? People like him don't deserve it. And that was the point, I really wish I had my camera on. And I'm trying to keep myself calm now because he wound me up so much. The fact that he said he doesn't deserve it, why, why doesn't that guy deserve a meal? Well, yeah, he might not deserve my money, but you know what? I can walk away from that knowing that that guy has had a meal. He's had a meal a day, he might have had done, he might not have done, he might get three meals, I don't know. But I know that he's had a good meal. And when, when did anybody not deserve a meal? I mean, I had to kind of hold my everything back from swinging my helmet and cracking this bloke one. But now I really do wish that I had my camera run at that point so I could, uh, so I could actually put him out there and shame him. But yeah, it disgusts me really um, that how how those that are more fortunate view those that aren't, um, rather than. I mean, these people that aren't in the best of situations or aren't as privileged as others, they don't want sympathy. Some just don't even want help. Sometimes they just want a little bit of company. And after I'd given him the, after I'd given him the cob, I mean, he thanked me and he, he took straight into it. I thought, you know, I'm going to eat mine now anyway. So I went over to speak to him. And he said it was nice that someone was actually talking to him like a human being rather than looking down on him. And, you know, my, my heart went out to him. It's... It's, I mean, he told me why he was in his position and how he, how he became into that position. And you know what? I can fully sympathise with him. It's not, it's not like any doing of his own, why he ended up in that position. I mean, some people just get themselves into a rut and without that little bit of help, can't get themselves out. I mean, what was that to me? The cob was, what, £2.25, I think. It had a sausage in it, it had stuff in it, and it had apple sauce. It was very filling. I had one myself. His had extra stuff in it, an extra apple sauce. And his sausage was that it was quite a decent size. And then I bought a sausage roll as well, which I was planning on having. But I've got sausage rolls at home, and I've got them in the fridge. So for the sake of three quid, he's had a decent meal. And the bit that touched me more than anything was the fact that he said someone was willing to just stop and talk to him, and just spend a bit of time with him and talk to him like a human being. So and. And I think, I think that's why I was so pissed off at what the guy said. It was the fact that he'd not long said that to me, and as I was left, the guy to him and said, people like him don't deserve that, why are you helping him? And why are you giving that to him? Which I was disgusted with. Yeah, it really did take my absolute everything not to, not to thump the guy. It is, 
yeah, it, was, it wasn't nice at all. And I think it was even more so the fact that he, I don't know if the, the homeless guy actually heard him say it or not, but he said it loud enough where he could have heard it. I mean, if he did hear it, he didn't say anything and he probably is used to it. But no, it was, uh, it, it touched me just a little bit. It was, what he was telling me, it wasn't, uh, not that it wasn't nice, it was just so unfortunate. And that's one thing that gets me. There's a lot. There are a lot of kids that are out there at the moment. You will not say kids. I say teenagers, and sometimes in their early twenties, they go out and they they help other people, and they uh, but they don't want credit for it. They're not putting stuff on social media or on YouTube and everything else, and asking for recognition for an act of kindness that they've done. But then it seems to be a trend at the moment where some of the kids, uh, especially after this uh, ice bucket challenge, saying, I challenge you to go and do this. And what they do, they go and kind of give 10 quid or $10 or whatever to someone that's homeless and give them a bit of food. But then they make a point about it and put it on social media. And it's like, why? It's why, why try and gain likes and followers and comments for, for someone else's misfortune? I mean, I... I I mean, I suppose the person who, who's on the receiving end um, appreciates the food and appreciates everything, but at the same time, I, don't, I just don't think it's right. I don't think that you should be putting putting something like that on the internet just for, for personal gain, for all the likes and for the comments. I mean, I've not put this up, and like I said, that's why I didn't video it, because I didn't do it for that. I had a couple of quid spare, and you can, you can pretty much tell generally when you're walking past someone who's homeless or someone that's sitting there, whether that person's a, a drunk or not, whether they're, they're drinking or... You can tend to see in someone's face whether they're on drugs or... Whether they're relying on some sort of substance. And he didn't seem like that. I mean, those people only I completely ignore because a lot of them choose to be like that. Some of them don't get the help, but help is available to those that are on drugs and that are on drink. And as, as he was just telling me, help's just not available to those that aren't. The, the, people that just generally do not have no money, that do not have a home. Help is not available to them, except for small charity groups that um, help provide food and um, maybe in some cases provide shelter and other times maybe some clothing. Um, but a little thing like that, I mean, what was that? Three quid to me. Three quid is nothing. I mean, a few years ago it might have been everything, but three quid is nothing to know that somebody had had a meal. I mean, I could have gone and drawn a tenner out and given him that. I chose not to, but at the same time, I could have done that, and that may have benefited him. But I wasn't—I don't know where that—I don't know where that money was going to go. I don't know if he was going to be safe with that money, or if there's anyone that's in a worse off position than him that may be on drugs may take it from him. Well, this way, I know that he's eaten, and I didn't do it for public gain. So that's something I'd like to see more of: is just people. You know, if if you're out there and you do pass someone that's homeless, make a judgment. Don't judge them, just make a judgement whether is that person on drugs, are they not on drugs? Do I have a couple of quid that I could possibly spare to help them? I mean, you don't have to give them the couple of pounds. I mean, you could just go in and you may buy them a sandwich. But from what the guy said to me, I mean, that, I mean, he appreciated the food, but I don't think that's what he appreciated most. I think, I think he had a bit more self-worth and a bit more what's the word I'm looking for? Dignity. The fact that I stopped and ate the food with him. And for me that that was a lot. And you know what, if I if I happen to see him again and you know I'm gonna do the same again. He seemed like a really nice bloke. So yeah in a way it is kind of a challenge. I do challenge people just just go out there and it, help your fellow man. Um, I mean you don't have to give people money, you don't have to you don't have to subscribe to something and pay £10 a month. And even if you do, where's that £10 going? Do you know where it's going? If you've got a couple of quid spare in your wallet and you can see somebody who's a hell of a lot less fortunate than you and knowing that just giving them a little bit of food and a little bit of company, even if it's for just five minutes of, of, of your day, if you think that that is going to benefit them in any way, you know what, go out and do it. It was... I mean, the whole rewarding thing, it's like people find it rewarding. No, I didn't find any of that rewarding. And like I said, I didn't do it for that. But I felt somewhat privileged for him to actually speak and have a conversation with me. And when I was asking him about certain things, and he was actually telling me, and it, I can't explain it. It, uh, it 
it made me feel very, very privileged. It made me feel, I, I know I'm privileged. I know I'm better off than a hell of a lot of people. And there are a lot more people worse off than me. But at the same time, it's being, how can I put it? Being reminded. It's just heartwarming knowing that I've bumped into someone and I've been able to help them somewhat. Or you know, even if it's not really help them, just make, give them a better day. Um, without the need for self gain and putting things onto YouTube or actually video video yourself feeding someone who is struggling to feed themselves. That's when I think it's wrong. And anyway, um, like I said, I didn't put this video up for self gain or for likes and I'm not going to title it anything like feeding a homeless guy. I think the reason I needed to talk and say something is how I've said before on my YouTube channel that I see my channel as a bit of an outlet, a bit of a when something's on my mind that I can just get it off my chest and talk about it and today after seeing that guy and speaking to him and then the, the guy who came afterwards and said he did, the, the homeless guy didn't deserve any help that pissed me off something chronic um, it, that guy he, he, pu he pushed me to the absolute max so so anyway that's my two cents of the day um, I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget if you do like the videos uh, click on the channel click subscribe click thumbs up all the usual guff Anyway, take care and we'll have a good day and ride safe.